What's up, everybody? I'm Clayton. Welcome to Ages of Film. This is the uh, first video I'm putting out uh, under the new channel. Well, since we've changed to Ages of Film. Uh, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be ranking all five Die Hard movies. Um, this is for all the action movie fans. If you're fan of uh, action movies, fan of Die Hard, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this video. Um, while you're here, if you're new to my channel, uh, please hit that like button. It helps the channel out. And if you're enjoying the content so far, uh, maybe hit that subscribe button. Another way to uh, help out and support the channel. Also, I like giving uh, shout outs to other movie channels um, that I'm a big fan of, that I try to support. Um, so those channels are Movies and Beyond, The Bearded Entertainment, and Brian Lomax Movie Channel. If you have not checked out those channels yet, do yourself a favor and go uh, to their channels, hit the subscribe button, check out their content. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Um, all of them have awesome channels and um, I'm a big fan and supporter of uh, each of their channels and I'm sure you will be too once you uh, see this awesome stuff that they have over there. So uh, go check out their channels. Um, and uh, let them know that Clayton from Ages of Film sent you. That out of the way, I want to say what's up to my new subscribers. Thank you very much for being here, um, for hitting the subscribe button, and for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. All right, time to rank the Die Hard franchise. As always, we're going to go from worst to best. And just as a reminder and a disclaimer, this is just my opinion on these movies. Um, how would you rank them? Let me know in the comment section uh, what your ranking of the Die Hard franchise will be. I can guarantee you my ranking here is probably going to be somewhat controversial. Uh, I, I feel like I don't tend to uh, fit in with the majority when it comes to Die Hard and the movies that I like and that I don't like. So should be an interesting list. Um, I'm interested to see what, what you guys uh, have to say and how how you guys would rank this franchise. So here we go. Starting from the bottom, number five. There's five movies in this franchise. Uh, coming in at number five is the most recent entry in uh, this franchise, Die Hard 5, also called uh, A Good Day to Die Hard. Um yeah, not a fan of this movie. Um, I think it was it was pretty weak. I, I feel like it was one of those movies that uh, it's just kind of forced. They wanted another Die Hard movie. Um, you know, I don't know how much Bruce Willis was involved in you know putting this film together. If he just needed a paycheck, or if this was something that he was actually genuinely passionate about and genuinely wanted to do, I don't know. But it just when you watch it, it feels very kind of forced uh, and just kind of sloppy. It just feels like they just threw some stuff together, put Bruce Willis's name on the title, and you know, send it off to the theaters, but not, not very good. I don't think though that it's as bad as what I've heard a lot of people make it out to be. Um, I'd give this movie two stars. Um, it's not a very good movie, but it's certainly better than some action movies that are out there. Um, I, I do think that there's, you know, I, I think that Bruce Willis and his son, the guy that plays his son in this movie, I do think they have good chemistry together. Um, I, I can buy into that father-son relationship. Uh, it does feel natural and genuine. Um, and I do think there's some heart there. Um, but just from the the directing, some really bad CGI, um and just the script, 
Um, the dialogue, I don't think, was is quite on par with some of the other Die Hard movies. And um, and then, you know, you just get, like, in the I think it's probably in the first act, maybe second act, you get about a 10 or 15 minute scene, a uh, car chasing scene out in the streets and nothing's happening. Like it's, you know, it's not progressing the story. It's not moving anything along at all. It's just 10 to 15 minutes of just this racing scene. It's like, okay, let's, let's wrap this up. We get it. Let's, uh, let's move on. Give me some, some more meat to the story here. Uh, I don't need to just see a car racing scene for 15 minutes with without anything actually happening. So, yeah, Die Hard 5, bottom um, of the list for me, number 5. Not a fan of this movie, uh, but I don't think it's quite as bad as what I've seen some people make it out to be. Coming in at number 4, I have Die Hard 3, also known as Die Hard with a Vengeance. Um, from 1995, I believe this movie came out, um, a good year for film, by the way, we had some really good movies that year. Um, this one was, so to me, this was a good film. I I'd give this movie, uh, three stars. Um, I, I think that it's, it's a solid action movie. Um, it's fun. I do think it's entertaining. I do think they achieved what it was that they were going for and what they were trying to do. Um, however, to me, I, I think that at this point it's getting a little repetitive, uh, as far as the plot and, you know, what happens to, uh, to John McClane in every movie, you know, there's going to be a guy, a bad guy, he's got to go defeat him. There's going to be a few obstacles in the way. He's not going to die or ever really be in any serious danger. Uh, and then he's going to figure out a way to beat the bad guy, give him that old yippee ki -yay mother effort, and um, win, you know, and, you know, save the day. This one, it just felt like it is, it, it's like, okay, I, I get it. This is going to be the same, hitting the same beats um, over and over again. Uh, there's nothing really new that this movie presented that other movies didn't really have. We get Samuel L. Jackson coming in um, to kind of add some, I guess, some humor. Although I didn't really find him funny in this movie. The humor attempts for me didn't really land. Uh, for some people, they do. I get it. Uh, humor is very subjective. Um, but for me, the humor just didn't really land for me. Um, wasn't a fan of, you know, every other scene every other line by Samuel L. Jackson being some racial line. Uh, it That stuff gets really annoying to me really fast. Um, so I'm not as big on this movie as some people are, but it's a fun movie. Three stars. Um, I have it at number four, um, but there's, there's a pretty good jump between Die Hard 5 and Die Hard 3 for me. So Die Hard 3 comes in at number four. Coming at number three, we have Die Hard 2 uh, from 1990, I believe. Um, could be wrong on that, but I think it was 1990. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that... Sorry, uh, I got a phone call there. Um, I think that uh, this one is also a fun movie. Um, I'd also give it three stars. Um, a lot of people have this movie like four stars. I've even seen some people have it like, give it, you know, perfect five star rating. Uh, I'm not one of those people. The Die Hard franchise just isn't really my favorite action franchise. Um, I do like a number of these movies, um, but I, I don't have any type of like real emotional connection to this franchise. Um, you know, I've seen them all multiple times, uh, but. I can kind of, you know, I, I like a lot of these movies. I do. I have a good time, but I don't really have like a strong emotional impact to them. They don't really do a whole lot for me. Uh, Die Hard 2 is similar to Die Hard 3. It's a, it's a fun action movie. Nothing else. You're going to see some things blow up. You're going to see John McClane 
uh, you know, in some situ- sticky situations he's got to get out of. You know he's going to, um, you know, he's going to take out some some bad guys and save the day and ride off into the sunset. It's not a complicated script. There's no layers to this movie or anything like that. It's just a straight-up action fest, uh, which is fun. It's a good popcorn movie. You know, these kind these are kind of movies... If you want to just sit back, relax, you know, relieve some stress, pop a bag of popcorn, just watch a fun action movie, this is, you know, this is the movie you would pull out. So, um, yeah, Die Hard 2, fun movie. I like it. Three stars. Um, I would put it slightly above Die Hard 3 um, because I I think, you know, there's not all that, you know, racial stuff and from every other scene or whatever um but i will say i like the bad guy better in die hard 3 than in bat in die hard 2 but i think the dialogue and the script is a little bit better in die hard 2 i think there's a little bit more emotion uh here a little bit more heart to it uh but not not a whole lot so die hard 2 would be my number three um and it's three star film coming in at number two uh this one might be surprising but i'm actually gonna go with the first die hard movie uh die hard one (laughs) the original from 1988 uh by john mctiernan um this is our introduction to john mcclain um bruce willis kind of becomes an action star uh right away with this movie um kind of puts him on the map i don't know that he had i don't know that he did any other movie before this that really made him a star i think this is the first movie that i know of that really put bruce willis on the map um this is a fun movie i would give this one three and a half stars uh i do think this one has um it's it's a better script i think it's it's better written you actually um you get a kind of a full story here with the the main character um you get actual development with the character a rounded character he starts off one way in the movie and by the end of the movie there is change to that character um you know the i do think the the villain um is is a good villain he's very smart um he he seems to be one step ahead of mclean uh and everyone else around him um it's it's an entertaining movie i think the actors do a good job in their performances uh i i like this movie it, it's definitely a, a super fun movie is it perfect no is this a five-star movie not a chance not a chance I, i've seen on letterbox i've seen multiple people had this movie five stars i'm like you guys are crazy you guys are crazy uh there's nothing five star you know uh, tier worthy about this movie it's an action movie it's a fun action movie it's got a well put together script um, and some good action to it they achieved what it was that they were trying to do and and go for so that does get it win at some points but is there an emotional connection not really uh, is it you know, super rewatchable. It's rewatchable and it's fun. It's entertaining, but it's not, not to the point where it's gonna, you know, it's not five out of five for entertainment for me personally. Um, I'd probably give it like a four out of five for entertainment. Um, maybe like a two out of five or three out of five for emotional connection. And maybe like a three, three and a half out of five for um, achieving what it was that it was going for. So overall, a three and a half star movie. Um, I do really like it. It's entertaining. It's fun. Um, yeah, it's my number two. But coming in at number one, obviously the only one left, we have Die Hard 4, also known as Live Free or Die Hard. Uh, this is my favorite Die Hard movie. This is the only movie in this franchise that I would say is a great movie. Um, I would give this movie four stars. Um, I, I think it definitely achieves what it was that it was going for. 
Um, I think it's the most entertaining and the most fun out of the five. Uh, and I do think there's the most emotional connection um, with this movie. Excuse me. Um, over all the others. You know, you have John McClane's daughter. Uh, her life is at stake now. Uh, she starts off not liking her father, uh, but by the end, she comes to realize that he is a hero. Uh, he kind of wins his daughter back uh, by the end of the movie. So there is more of an emotional punch to the movie over, I I would say, over the other movies. Um, and Justin Long, man. Justin freaking Long. I love this guy. He is one of the most entertaining actors out there, in my opinion. I can watch him in anything. Uh, he's awesome in this movie. And this is a movie uh, that lands the best humor for me. And it comes primarily from Justin Long. Uh, so of all the movies, I think this one works the best with the humor. Um, and has a good balance of action uh, humor and, uh, and it's pasted really well. Um, it goes by at, at, at a really good, good rate. Um, and I think it, it, it directs the action the best, um, as well. So yeah, really love Die Hard 4. This is the one that I watched the most, to be honest. Um, if I was going to grab a Die Hard movie off the shelf, it would be Die Hard 4. Um, I love this one. This is a great movie. Um, four stars for me. Uh, and yeah, that's my ranking of all five Die Hard movies. Let me know your ranking in the comment section. How would you rank this franchise? Let me know how wrong I am for, having, for not having the first Die Hard as my number one. Uh, I know someone's going to someone's gonna troll me for that, but... Hey, you like what you like, right? Um, so, yeah. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, until next time, you know what it is. Kick it and rock on.